Good day to all. Game engines make it possible to significantly simplify and speed up the creation of games for various gaming platforms. But the market for game engines is constantly changing. Some engines become obsolete. New ones come to their place or old ones that lagged behind are catching up to their level. And still others can break out into the leaders. Keeping track of all this is extremely difficult. With such dynamics, it is very easy to miss the appearance of some good and convenient engine. About one of these engines, which could have passed your attention, we will talk today. Castle Game Engine. Game Engine Overview. It is a free, open source, modern cross-platform 2D and 3D game engine based on OpenGL and OpenGLES2. This engine is still under development at the alpha version, but the current capabilities in it are already quite enough for the development of rather complex multimedia project. The engine was created by Michaelis Camburellis. There are also several other people working in the development team. As the author of the game engine Michaelis Camburellis said, I really don't like software patent. They prevent inventing stuff. You cannot invent something that someone else patented. No matter how smart you are, instead of protecting them, simple copyright works for protection in software. This engine is used to write games such as Koda Kiyomori's Guardian, Dragon Squash Crifter like B U M P C A R S two O one nine Castlecraft Seer The Unholy Society Escape from the Universe Game 15 of Universal Galactic Calendar First contact with an alien civilization resulted in a global massacre Only those who escaped into space managed to survive In this empty, hopeless world, everyone brings up
games. Many of these games are open source. The engine is written in Object Pascal and uses the Free Pascal Compiler (FPC) to compile projects. Compilation of projects is available in three ways: through the command line, through the CGE Visual Editor, or using the Lazarus programming environment. Code Typhon and Delphi are currently only partially supported. Some other custom programming environments can also be used. For programming inside the engine, the object Pascal language is used. Which is used in such programming environments as Delphi, Lazarus, Code Typhon and Kylix. Therefore, it will be convenient and familiar to those who have worked with them before. And more importantly, the game engine is completely free, even for commercial projects. But C programmers are not deprived here either. The engine can be compiled into a library useful for other programming languages. This does not provide the full engine API at the moment, but does provide easy 3D model loading, rendering, animation, interaction. This way you can, for example, create your own VRML X3D browser. There is an example in the engine examples that shows how the engine can be embedded in a C++ Quart application. And its source code is completely open. Which will allow you to use this engine both through its visual editor, and simply connect the engine as a framework library to your project. Thanks to the open source code, you can fix bugs yourself, modify and strengthen the engine, write the necessary components and new features for it, and also directly work on optimizing your projects for any computer hardware. The engine also allows you to connect other physical or network engines to it, if the engine's capabilities are not enough for you. The engine is very flexible and compatible with many other libraries and engines. The Visual Graphics Editor CGE, Castle Game Editor, is used to design menus, game levels, characters, objects and other game elements. The graphical interface of the visual editor is quite simple and intuitive, that allows you to quickly figure it out. It works similarly to Unity, Unreal Engine, Godot, CryEngine and other game engines. At the top is the editing menu. On the left is a list of used components and their hierarchy, on the right are the settings for each component, and at the bottom is a tree of project directories, in which all game files are located. For example, the data folder usually contains game images and models, as well as other necessary files, for example, text files and the code folder contains PAR files with the source code of your game. When designing menus and game menus, you may not need to write code at all. But for the interaction of your interface with the player, you will have to program. The visual editor allows you to edit the game world and view it while it is running the game engine supports a huge number of file formats. Castle Game Engine allows you to develop projects for different platforms and different architectures, for computers running on Windows, Linux, MacOS and FreeBSD, as well as for the Raspberry Pi platform with the ability to integrate your projects into Steam through the Steam API. For mobile devices running on Android and iOS. With the ability to package projects for the Android Play Market and Apple Game Center with the ability to connect advertising to your projects. The ability to write projects for the Nintendo Switch console is also available. There is also integration with in-app purchases, Facebook SDK, Google Analytics and Game Analytics and you can also interact with a web browser. 
The Castle Engine game engine uses many technologies and features, which can be enumerated for a long time. I will list just a few of them. 2D controls are available, buttons, panels, tooltips, on-screen menus, etc. It is very easy to customize their appearance. It's also very easy to create your own 2D controls using stretched images and text. Suitable for games where it is important to create a custom GUI that matches your gaming theme. Optimized real-time rendering with many graphical effects, physics rendering, shadows, mirrors, screen space effects, bump mapping, shader effects, gamma correction, anisotropic filtering, cubic and multi-texturing, various kinds of animation, automatic texture compression, supports both desktop and mobile compression formats such as S3TC, ATITC, PVRTC. Ray Tracer. Two ray tracing algorithms can be used. Deterministic, classic witted ray tracer, or Monte Carlo path tracing. All 3D engine formats are supported, with smooth normals, textures, reflections and shadows. Play short FFmpeg encoded videos. Large videos take up a lot of memory. Convert a Coco's 2D or Starling sprite sheet to X3D using sprite sheet to X3D. Expandable system for game objects. Creatures with AI and navigation mesh. Working with 2D and 3D bones for working with physics, the craft physics engine is included. It works with both 2D and 3D objects but you can use box 2D or other physics engines. To organize multiplayer, you can use the built-in network engine or connect a third-party one. Comfortable sound engine with intelligent control of sound sources, supporting WAV and OG Vorbis formats with X3D integration, you can also use OpenAL and FMRD can work even with 3D sound the ability to create a cross-platform user interface with bindings, automatic scaling and adjustment for screens and monitors of all sizes. Automatic logging of actions in the visual editor, as well as catching and intercepting errors. Working with 2D and 3D particles and shaders. Working with a web browser based on a plugin with NPAPI technology for Linux, Windows. There are plans for a more modern version with WebAssembly in FPC or PAR2JS. There is a GPU texture memory profiler which is extremely useful for optimizing texture memory usage, especially important for mobile platforms. Accelerating rendering with hardware occlusion query, simpler approach and more complex coherent hierarchical sampling. Anti-aliasing, using multiple sampling OpenGL anti-aliasing. The engine components are as independent as possible. Therefore, it is not necessary to work with the entire engine at once. You can use only individual modules according to your requirements. OpenGL controls integrate with any GUI library, Lazarus LCL, GTK, WinAPI, Carbon. You can embed the engine into a regular GUI program. Engine updates are released very often, usually several times a week, and sometimes every day or every other day, at the moment. There are quite a few video tutorials on this game engine on the network, but if you are interested in it, then I can deal with this game engine and teach you how to use it too. In addition, the game engine has its own website, forum, YouTube channel and Discord group. There you can ask any questions you are interested in and the developers of the engine will always be happy to answer your questions. More than once I wrote my questions to the developers of the engine and they were promptly answered in a very short time, for which I express my deep gratitude to them. I will leave links to all these resources in the description. On the engine website you can find large and detailed documentation on the engine with examples in English.
If you would like to support this free and promising cross-platform game engine, in the description I will leave for you a link to the Patreon website. With the funds raised, developers will be able to work faster and more to expand the capabilities of the engine, and their staff will be able to be further expanded. And you can also take part for a fee in the accelerated addition of the necessary feature to the engine. Let's support them together. If you do not have the opportunity to support the project financially, you can support them by liking and commenting on the video on their YouTube channel. As well as by spreading information about this engine, since no money is invested in advertising this engine. That's all for me. If this video was interesting for you, do not forget to put your thumbs up or down and write your opinion on this engine in the comments. And do you want to see video tutorials on working with it? Also subscribe to the channel and put the bell if you don't want to miss the new video tutorials on programming. Good luck to everyone and all the best. Create awesome games in this free game engine.